Hi, um, my name is Jen Marachino, and I live in Naya. I'm a parent of four children, an eighth grade, sixth grade, third grade, and a 15 month old. And I'm here on behalf of a group called REF, Restore Education Funding. We are a completely volunteer parent advocacy group. I really just got into this about a year ago because I'm extremely concerned about the um, direction in which education is headed in New York City. And we really want to be looked at as the parent and the student voice. We want you to um, understand how we as parents see some of these mandates affecting our children in the classrooms. And our main areas of concern are the constant cuts to education funding and the over-reliance on high-stakes standardized testing, specifically as it relates to the APPR. And, um, you know, we've been talking to thousands of parents throughout um, New York State, particularly the Hudson Valley. And what we are hearing over and over again is that kids in the classroom, um, they're feeling stress. We're seeing um, our kids being taught to the test. We feel as if time is really, uh, there's less time for teaching critical thinking and creative skills because um, teachers' ratings are now being linked to these standardized tests. Um, we are all for assessments. We very much believe that we need to retain the best teachers, the best administrators, but we think that the current system of the PPR is flawed in terms of how it's affecting our children in the classroom. And I could go on and on about that, but I won't. Um, we, uh, we think New York State rushed into this too quickly. You know, in our testimony, we mentioned that in Connecticut, a pilot program was put into place. Um, they're piloting it in certain school districts, and they're evaluating it. Um, with a group that's funded by Connecticut to really look and see how this is working. It feels like in New York State, it's being thrown out there and we've got to do it and we've got to spend money on it and we've got to make it happen right away and we don't like the way it's affecting our children. Um, we're concerned about the tests themselves that we're buying from Pearson, a private company. You know, I know we all know about a lot of the problems with the standardized tests this year. Um, we don't think they're the best forms of assessment for our kids. Um, you know, purchasing these bubble tests from corporations that may not be do may not be doing the best job of making the tests, and um, not only the type of tests, but the time allotted for these tests has increased increased so much in the past few years. The test used to be given in two grades for 45 minutes apiece. Now we're given in grades four through eight. There are three days apiece for your ELA and your math tests. They're an hour and a half. It's a tremendous amount of time that our kids are being forced to sit in class and take these standardized tests. And the APPR is um, forcing an increase in the amount of assessments. And they're not the types of assessments that we as parents want to see our kids taking. The assessments that are being forced are standardized tests. Even the local assessment piece, our superintendents are telling us, we need to buy these tests from companies for them to hold up and hearing, um, we cannot be putting in place the types of the local assessments that we would like to see as parents in the classroom. Um, funding is huge. You know, we've got a bunch on this in here, but I will tell you as an involved parent, I have sat down, I've looked at my school budget line by line. Schools are not wasting money, many of them. Our class sizes are increasing, we're losing TAs, we're losing full-time teachers, we're losing programs because not only is New York State cutting funding, the APPR is costing school districts 10 to 10, 20 times more than what we're getting from our race to the top grant money. So it, it financially, it's a huge problem. Um, we have a specific uh, suggestion, uh, you know, possibly having the state pay at least for the grading and the copying of the tests right now. That's on the school district's back. Um, we have kind of trying to rush it along, but we, we've asked um, our senators to look at lot of funding. I'm going to throw that out briefly because we know that part of the lottery funding is supposed to go to education. Right now, it's a 60-40 um, split, education, winnings. A, we have some people evaluating 50-50 split, but maybe just looking at education fund, uh, lottery for education funding would be a way to look for some more money. Um, park, we want to throw that out there. Park is coming up. And um, we're going to be forcing our kids to take a lot of these standardized tests using technology. Is there going to be any funding for that? Do schools have the computers? Nobody knows. I, I can't tell you how many calls we've made. You really cannot get a straight answer on what technology is going to be needed to give the park exams and where that money is going to come from. So we want to get that out there. Um, we're concerned about the longitudinal, longitudinal storage of data as required by um, Race to the Top. 
I won't get into it, but it's in a testimony, but we believe that there are some um, uh, FERPA concerns and privacy concerns with the way that's being handled. Um, I know the red light's on. So in conclusion, the things that we are asking you to look on, look at are piloting a program, an APP program before rolling it out. Um, we are uh, looking at uh, considering shorter, better standardized tests, creating a collaboration with public school educators, not top down from corporations. If PARP is mandated, we ask that all costs associated with it be funded. Uh, no student data should be provided to the Shared Learning Collaborative or to Wireless Generation. We'd like you to look at that. And um, we ask that the state continue its efforts, such as this hearing, to listen to the voice of the parents and students. We feel that our opinions were really not taken fully into consideration by many important decisions of affecting our children were being made over the past few years. And um, we are here to stay involved and hope that you take care of our voice. Thank you. Thank you. My question is for Ms. Marciano. For, yeah, for, uh, from the one involved parents for another. I was a little puzzled by your criticism of APPR. Um, the parents I work with were really uh, worked very hard to get to win this uh, evaluation, and they see it as a tool to hold the system accountable. I'm wondering if you are familiar with the uh, the mechanism that teach that, that parents can use uh, to 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 shape the, the evaluation. The, the, the regulations actually give unprecedented power to, to parents uh, in that 60% subjective measures. Parents have a right to uh, feedback mechanism that you could theoretically use to shape teaching and learning in your school to hold your principals uh, accountable for. Uh, you know, not teaching to the test. I wonder if you consider that strategy. Well, I think the piece that we're concerned about is the 40% that's completely focused on linking achievement to test scores. So there is a piece, you know, there, we know there's a 60% that's based on you know, what may be looked at as a good evaluation system. We've got the Charlotte Danielson model, for example, in our school district in NIAC. But um, there's still 20 points based on these bad New York State standardized tests in every subject, and then there's another 20% based on the local assessments, which I'm telling you, they are not the types of local assessments that sound as if they should be from the APPR. We're being told by our superintendents, we need to purchase these local assessments based on the rush, and not just the rush, they need to be valid and reliable and hearing is what we are being told, which means that we need to purchase them. So it's costing a ton of money, and it's giving our kids an extreme increase in the number of standardized tests that they're taking when they're in school. And that is not what we want to see. We don't want our kids in school being taught to the test and taking tests all the time. 